Welcome back, everybody, to the Kalispell Warhawk Dynasty. Today's a very big day. Kalispell returns home after finishing up non-conference play. Today, they play their first game in conference as members of the Pac-12. They open against 0-2 Arizona State. Kalispell is coming off their first loss in over a year after suffering a surprising loss against the West Virginia Mountaineers. The Warhawk offense did not look dominant whatsoever, and West Virginia defended their home field and got a big victory. Now Kalispell needs to put it all behind them. Welcome everybody to Pac-12 action from Kalispell, Montana. On the return, Marty Belafonte from two yards deep. A spin, he falls ahead, taking a defender with him. It's a solid return, setting up Brandon Warren and the offense. They put up 45 and 48 points in the first two games. They follow that up with just 10 a week ago. On first and 10, some play action. Warren under heavy pressure. Three Sun Devils in his face as he throws the pass away. Certainly the pass blocking has been a concern for me and that was not a good sign on the first play. They'll try a toss and Thomas gets nothing. Excellent pursuit to the boundary by Nick Neal. Quickly a third and long as they bring the speedy Carl Joyce in motion. Time for Warren, gets it away, floating downfield and connecting, Carl Joyce, gain of 14 yards and a Warhawk first down. Great conversion for the offense, now on first and 10, sweeping, Kyle Thomas gets some room, cuts up field. He was helped out by a great block from number 72, Rodney Hall. Warhawk second and short, they go two receivers to the right, quick screen into the hands of Mike Harris, who's leveled behind the line of scrimmage, they lose four. We've seen Kalispell try to get that quick game going. It only takes them backwards on this one. Third and five. Pressure surrounding Warren as he coughs it up and Kyle Thomas is there to save the day, but they'll still have to punt. Kalispell's defense has looked outstanding in two games, not so much against West Virginia. It's a good matchup here against the struggling Sun Devils as Spencer Evans back to throw on first down, throws it underneath. Kalispell with good coverage downfield, but they don't bring Tariq Lewis down quick enough as he gets eight. Baker cheating down around the line as they hand this to Hughes, who bounces the play outside and is taken down by Alex Hardy at the first down marker. Hughes with a buck 84 and a score coming into this game. Evans now given time with extra protection. Fires downfield through the hands of safety Chris Baker, who's now the starter this year for Shannon Evans. Third down and 10, Evans across the middle, he throws off the mark and incomplete. Two failed possessions and now Kalispell set to take over. Here is the punt to Marty Belafonte who had to leave last week's game after the opening kickoff, but he's good to go. Belafonte breaks out to the near sideline, to the 40, shakes a defender to the inside, a 27 yard return for Marty Belafonte, sets up Kalispell with a short field here, about arena football length. Second and 13, a deep shot from Warren. Harris downfield, can't bring it in. The defender there with him step for step. Again, third and long for Kalispell, trips left. It's a mid-screen, Joyce gets a block and speeds his way through the middle. He moves the chains again. Two big third and long conversions for Carl Joyce, showing how valuable he is to this offense. Play action and a screen to Thomas after the fake. Some misdirection there from Kalispell and we're seeing them try to get these backs involved in the passing game quite a bit. Now they're going to completely change the formation. Warren keeps on third and short, has the first down following Joyce. He's taken down following a gain of 14 yards. One player to keep an eye on for this Arizona State defense is linebacker Zach Rivero. He wears number 52. Already seven tackles for a loss this year as a red shirt freshman. They got some pressure on Warren this time. It is Neil Roberts who brings him down. Kalispell's now face three third and longs today. They'll swing it out to Justin Payne off the motion and he gets tripped up. And there is the aforementioned Rivero out in space. Kalispell now on the board, but neither offense off to a great start. Here is Hughes on first down. Good hit by Mario Townsend. Full safety sit back deep for Kalispell. Hughes up the middle, gashing the Warhawk defense with a pretty easy pickup of 15 yards. Baker now the high safety. Akinjide cheats down. First and 10. 
Here goes Evans with no one home across the 50. Evans sprinting and delivering a stiff form to Oscar Bryant. He sure wasn't expecting that. 28 yards for Evans. In the field goal range, he was up the middle. Nice stuff by Marion Triplett. And what a start he's off to this year with the five sacks. Third and four, six to protect. A short throw complete to Lewis. Fighting and stretching his way. Good effort for Tariq Lewis. That's the second time he's done that. I'll hand this to Montgomery. Oh my. Hayes just throws his body in the way and brings him down. Chris Baker pumps up the crowd on third down. Sun Devils need seven. Evans underneath. Montgomery won't get there. It's Akinjide. Kalispell's been very creative with their red shirt freshman safety. They keep him down around the line so teams think twice about dumping it off. Three apiece as Kalispell takes over and on the handoff, shedding an arm tackle, Troy Lee delivers the stiff arm. Great effort across the 50. Lee for 32. He hasn't touched the football a ton this year, but he's made the most of his touches with 104 yards already, making sure Kalispell doesn't forget about him. Handoff here, Thomas stretches out, cuts up field, good run. Kyle Thomas gets seven. Three of five on third down. This time it's not a third and long. Warren needs four and finds a wide open. Thomas Roberts right in the center of the field. Kalispell keeps on driving. Lead the back on first and 10. Setting up the screen. Lee somehow gets out of trouble and turns a potential loss into a gain of six. Kalispell not having Warren go downfield much to start this game. He swings this pass out of the backfield. Kyle Thomas up the sideline in for six. 23 yards for Kyle Thomas. They just seem to forget about covering him on this play. And some help from Carl Joyce scores the touchdown. 10-3. Arizona State takes over trailing. And Evans throws it out for Lewis for a gain of six. Evans with just one touchdown this year and three interceptions. They'll try a handoff on third and seven, and Kalispell is not fooled at all. The defense is looking more like the team that we saw in the first two weeks so far. Belafonte on the return again. He'll break out toward the sideline. They can't close the gap. Belafonte across midfield. Another solid return. We've seen punt returns of 27 and 30. Warren to the shotgun here to pass. Warren gets it away in time as Joyce is leveled by Rivero, but he hangs on to the pass. First and 10 with split backs. Warren dumps it off. Here's Kyle Thomas again, runs through a tackle and picks up seven more. Justin Payne, the slot receiver, Kalispell into the red zone. Warren to the outside, connects with John Charles, who's off to a bit of a quiet start with no touchdowns in three games. Second down, they'll hand it to Thomas. Big hole right side to the five. Thomas spun around near the pylon. He's out of bounds at the one. Kalispell trying to go up two scores. Jumbo set, full back dive, touchdown! Bo Lee, the fan favorite fullback, finds the end zone as Kalispell is having a great bounce back half at least. Still a long way to go. Two and a half to go here in the first half as Hughes gets the carry and picks up four. Again, we see Tommy Jordan out there for Kalispell coming in when Akinjide is playing linebacker. Third and three outside. A very good throw by Spencer Evans. It moves the chains. Baker the high safety on first down. Evans underneath, and that is great coverage by Alex Hardy. Kalispell is doing a very good job of keeping plays in front of them. Evans on second down. This time they get a pass across the middle. Tony Hamby gets a catch for 14 yards. Back around midfield. Second and 10 for Evans. Blitz is handled. Evans to the outside and nearly intercepted through the hands of Oscar Bryant. Kalispell backs off a bit on third and 10. Sending four. Quick throw through the hands of Bowling. It falls to the ground incomplete. Still some time for the Warhawks. We'll see how aggressive they are up 14 points. They set up a double screen and Carl Joyce makes the catch, stumbling his way forward for a gain of nine. All three timeouts left for Kalispell, third and short. 
They'll keep this in the air. Warren chased outside. Fires on the move and Joyce flips it back to John Charles. A hook and ladder all the way into Arizona State territory. Oh my! There is not a defensive coordinator in the world who would expect this on a third and one. Joyce had the first down. It was risky to pitch it, but it was the right time as John Charles picked up a lot of extra yards. 40 seconds left. Warren again outside the pocket, but now receivers are blanketed. He'll take off up the sideline and heads out of bounds after a gain of a dozen. 34 seconds to go, and the third red zone trip now begins for Kalispell. Troy Lee the carry as Kalispell will now use a timeout. 29 seconds to go, trips left. Looks like that double screen again. Checking it down, Kyle Thomas gets the first down, and the clock is stopped. Still two timeouts for Kalispell. Here they'll throw it on second down. Warren to the middle. Touchdown, Justin Payne. Wide open. It's hard to get an easier look than that. If you watch that again, the linebacker reads Hayden John Charles and follows him all the way across the field, vacating the middle. That's the power of a Mackey Award winner, catching all that attention. It opens up the young Justin Payne, giving Kalispell a 24-3 advantage. It appears this week we're back to Kalispell football, 24-3. The first half of Kalispell action here in the Pac-12 was a fun one. The Warhawks seem to have recovered after a tough game last week. That loss, by the way, knocked them down in the standings all the way to 21. So now they must protect this lead. Arizona State trying to figure out how to get this offense going. Here's a screen to Hughes on third down, and the Sun Devils go three and out. Arizona State struggles continue as the Warhawks take over. On first down, here's Brandon Warren on the option, flipping it out to Troy Lee, who is tripped up around midfield. It's good to see this working for the offense again. After last week, the option wasn't much of an option. Screen again, Troy Lee. He keeps getting himself out of these tough jams. Gain of nine. We're seeing him play a lot more snaps today, but now Thomas re-enters, and the pass is hauled in by slot receiver Justin Payne. New set of downs, Warren gets around the lineman, flips it out to Kyle Thomas, breaks a tackle, and gets seven. Kalispell really wants to establish that option game. It's very good when it works. Second down, this throw a bit late, but caught eventually by Hayden John Charles. It's a new set of downs. Two tight ends on the right side for Kalispell here on second down. Warren protected, fires to the end zone and connects with Thomas Roberts. It's a Kalispell touchdown. Brandon Warren now with eight touchdown passes on the season and Kalispell pulls ahead by 28. Great showing by Kalispell here in their first ever Pac-12 contest. This is Hughes on the reception, gain of seven. But Arizona State has just had no rhythm. Evans, third and three, he's gonna keep it, and he'll get the first down as blocks help him out in the second level. That's a very good run of 22. Second down again for the Arizona State offense. Evans floats it out, bowling holes it in, bounces off a tackle and falls ahead to the 20 yard line. Good drive so far for the Sun Devils. Hughes the give and a big hit. Kalispell does a very good job rallying to the ball. That was Bozeman. Here's the give again to Hughes, delivering a stiff arm and earning all these yards. He picks up six. Sun Devils trying to get their first touchdown of the day. It's third down, rolling out. Evans hit as he throws. That's Chris Harrison forcing fourth down. ASU does score again, but it's only a field goal, 31 to six. They send this off to Marty Belafonte. This time, he bounces outside the numbers. With that speed up the sideline, there goes Marty to the 30, and he'll go for a touchdown. Kalispell strikes again. Hey, he had those two punt return touchdowns. It looked like we were about to see something special, and there it is again from the All-American. 38 to six. Sun Devil football, Evans in some trouble. He is leveled. And that's Marion Triplett, now with six sacks on the season. 
A minute 58 to go here in the third quarter. Third and seven. Evans across the middle. Lewis does hang on. Good play. There just haven't been many routine opportunities for this offense. They have to earn everything. Across the middle, Hamby hangs on to this. Gain of 13. Safety's back off again, first and 10. Evans to scramble, he gets tripped up on the play. It is a sack for Boogie Turner. Four of 10 on third down, needing seven. They'll call the draw play. Hughes gets some daylight, but is quickly taken down by Marion Triplett and it's fourth down. To no surprise, Kalispell has now brought in majority of the second string players. They are not using Justin Colbert because he's really a starting caliber player and they don't want to risk injury to him. Third down and 10 here for Phillips. He passes outside for Thomas Roberts who is dragged down around the 10. Kalispell set to kick it away. Third down here for ASU, now facing the second string defense. Hicks applies the pressure. The pass sails deep and is intercepted by Oscar Bryant. Callis Spell with the takeaway. That's their second interception this year. Both have been by Bryant. Callis Spell up 32. They take over. Some play action now. The pass out to Finley will get the first down. We're seeing some of Roshan Phillips here, who is a pocket passer was high school teammates actually with JR Battle. Here is Marcus Payne now on the carry who had some hype going into last season but it's been all about Marty Belafonte instead. Third and 12, it's Finley on the reception trying to break outside and he gets hammered right at the sticks but he does get the first down. Kalispell running clock aggressively. Payne on the carry. Good cut downhill. He moves the chains, and it looks like Kalispell can run out the rest of this clock. Great game here for Kalispell. They bounce back in a big way to make a statement in their opening Pac-12 matchup. They defeat Arizona State 38-6. Their next game is not going to be so simple, however, and we'll preview that matchup here in a moment. Great to see Brandon Warren not have any takeaways and throw three touchdowns. I like that we got back to our option game today and I liked how we ran the offense. A lot of this isn't high risk. We just try to get our players out in space. We use a lot of motion and option. It's something I thought that was important going into a Pac-12 schedule against much better pass rushes with a very inexperienced offensive line. One player that's been hurting a bit is Hayden John Charles because he's not one of these running backs or receivers we're going to try to get in space. But we can still utilize him a bit more than we have. And maybe against better competition, who we'll take away some of our options, we'll need to. But today I thought we were extremely efficient and I was happy to see both of our top running backs, Kyle Thomas and Troy Lee, get a lot out of their touches. In the air, Kyle Thomas also had five catches. Thomas Roberts had four and a touchdown. And defensively, we didn't really let ASU do much. They didn't want to attack us downfield, and it's hard to dink and dunk against us. Our next game is going to be a great challenge against the Stanford Cardinal. This game will be in two episodes from now because next episode is going to be a recruiting special. But to preview this matchup, Stanford offers us a great challenge just from an overall talent perspective. They are 2-1 and one on the season and are ranked 17. So on paper, it's a marquee matchup for the week. They lost to Utah, who are ranked number 21. Plenty of Pac-12 teams ranked close together. That's pretty cool. Where I expect Stanford to really test us is on the ground. And they have a great running back to unleash against our defense in Brody Campbell. We'll see how our defensive line does against the better offensive line and if our linebackers are able to step up and limit what Campbell can do. He's finally become a starter this season. He's excellent at breaking tackles. He has breakaway speed. So we can't be missing tackles or not filling our gaps properly. It's going to lead to a lot of big plays in that case. They also have a ton of speed at receiver. So there's a lot to worry about with this offense. Their quarterback is senior Scott Andrews. Andrews has a pretty weak arm, but he's pretty accurate at the same time. He shouldn't leave the pocket too much against us, so at least we don't have to spy him. Overall, I am really excited for this game. Much like the Alabama game, I thought it was a great test for us, but Bama didn't come to play in week two. Not the way that we did. 
So against Stanford, who I think will try to really establish the ground game, how are we going to handle that? We're going to find out a lot about this team in two episodes. Next episode, of course, we're going to spend it talking about recruiting. Now remember, Blackjack has not been able to do anything with recruiting for this season, but there's still a lot to be excited for. Trust me, going to the Pac-12 definitely caught the interest of a lot of recruits, and we have a chance to do some great things this year, and I can't wait to break down these prospects for you one episode from now. I will be seeing you all then. Thank you all for watching. Please smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Hit the bell for notifications, and I will see you all soon. Have a great day.